Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm sharing with you some of my most favorite Christmas cookies. So I'm Kristen, I am sister number two from SixSisterStuff.com and I love Christmas time, but I think one of my most favorite things about the Christmas season are the cookies. Now over at SixSisterStuff.com, we have hundreds and hundreds of cookie recipes, but today on our YouTube channel, I'm just gonna show you some of my most favorite cookies that you can make perfect for the holiday season. So sit down, relax, Pull up to the fireplace, grab a cup of hot cocoa, and enjoy these delicious Christmas cookies. The first recipe I'm going to make for you is called Super Soft Sugar Cookies. Now to make them more Christmassy, you go ahead and add some Christmassy sprinkles. Alright, let's get started. So first you're going to add 3 fourths cup of butter and 3 fourths cup of sugar. Now go ahead and blend that together really well. Once that's all blended and mixed well together, you're going to add two eggs, three teaspoons of vanilla extract, and then mix it all together again. Once it's well combined, you're gonna add a half teaspoon of salt, two and a fourth teaspoon of baking powder, and two and a fourth cups of flour. Now this is the last time you have to mix it all together. So once it's all mixed and well combined, you're going to cover it with plastic wrap and stick it in the refrigerator to chill for about 30 minutes. Now it's time to roll the ball. So let me show you just a little trick when you make sugar cookies. Now you can make them with the cookie cutters, that's great, but it's really easy just to make them in balls and then you just press them down a little bit so they'll be complete circles. Now you're going to bake these at 350 degrees for about 8 to 10 minutes. While they're baking, it's time to make the frosting. So you start with two and a half cups powdered sugar, three tablespoons of butter that's softened, and you're going to mix those together just the best that you can. Next, you're going to add three tablespoons of milk and a half tablespoon of vanilla extract. Now blend those very smoothly and softly so you don't get the powdered sugar everywhere and your frosting will become thick and delicious. Now the trick is not to melt your butter, it's to, just to keep it softened and that's how you get the buttercream texture. Then to decorate you just add on your favorite sprinkles. Now these are super soft and delicious and they work with any holiday, you just change up the sprinkles. But I love making them for Christmas. All right, my next cookie is called Carrot Cake Cookies. First, you're gonna take one cup of Crisco. Now this individual packaging is so nice because it doesn't make a huge mess. So I prefer using these, they are great. Then um, next I'm just gonna add one egg to my mixture. And then after that, just three fourths cup of sugar. Then you're just gonna blend it together till it's nice and creamy. All right, that looks good. Okay, I'm gonna move this up just a little bit so I have some room. And I have been cooking one cup of carrots, so I've been boiling them um, with water and a little bit of salt. Then I drained the majority of the water um, and I'm just mashing them up. You want it to be a nice texture, uh, not quite like baby food. You want some chunks in there. So I'm just chopping it up, uh, kind of like, almost like some chunky mashed potatoes. Once you're done mashing, they have to cool completely before you add them to your Crisco mixture. My trick is I put in a few ice cubes, mixed it around, drained it out, and then it was all ready to go when I needed it. Once the carrots are completely cooled, you just pour that in with your Crisco mixture. Next, you're gonna add about oh, a half a teaspoon of almond extract. You can do a few drops, but I love it, so I did about half a teaspoon. Then one teaspoon of vanilla, and you just kind of mix that around a little bit until it's combined. 
Then you're just going to add two cups of flour to your mixture and then just a little bit of salt, about half a teaspoon, but I kind of just eyeball it. When you're done with your salt, you just mix it all together. It takes a little bit to get it going. Um, keep stirring. It will become a nice, awesome cookie dough. It really looks so good. Okay, the secret with these is you have to chill them for about 40 minutes to an hour so then they get a nice plump look to them. Now, I like to make these cookies just a little bit on the smaller side, so they're like bite size. Then we're going to bake them at 350 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes. Now from my most favorite part, it's the frosting. So we have one tablespoon of butter that's room temperature, juice from one orange or about four tablespoons of orange juice, and then I just added um, one cup at a time of my powdered sugar just because you kind of, it depends on what texture you want your frosting. I like mine thick instead of really light like a glaze. I like it thick and solid. So I ended up using about two and a half cups of powdered sugar. And now for the fun part, the frosting. So see how my frosting is pretty thick. You could make it a glaze if you want to but I love thick frosting. That's probably one of my most favorite foods. So then you're just going to frost all these little cookies. It should make about 60 little cookies. Here is the final cookie. My husband voted them his new favorites. Now this one is one of our most popular recipes on our blog. It's called Andy's Mint Cookies. So you have one devil's food cake, two eggs and a half cup of oil. Now if you have kids, this is one recipe that they can help you make. Now you're gonna stir this all together until it becomes a thick dough. Once your dough is ready, you're going to go ahead and just make little balls and put them on your cookie sheet. And I try and fit as many cookie dough balls on there as I possibly can fit onto my cookie sheet. So you're gonna bake those at 350 degrees do it for six minutes first just to see. You don't want them hardened, you want them a little bit soft. Now while they're still really hot, you're gonna add an Andy's Mint Cookie. You're gonna press it down just a little bit so it can start melting. Once it starts melting, take a spoon and spread it around. This is gonna be your frosting for your cookies. So you don't want huge cookies, you want these to be a little bit smaller, but the Andy's Mint on top makes them taste so delicious. And now these will be a huge hit for your family and they only take five ingredients to throw together. All right, my next cookie is called Orange Creamsicle Cookie. Now you're gonna start by adding two and a half cups of flour, three fourths teaspoon of baking soda, and a half teaspoon of salt. And you're gonna mix that together a little bit and set it aside. In another bowl, you're gonna take one cup of butter that's softened and mix it up. Add a half cup of sugar, a half cup of firmly packed brown sugar, and mix it together until it's well combined. Now, on top of that, you're gonna add one egg, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and go ahead and mix that together too with your sugar. Once that's together, go ahead and add in your flour mixture and then just like we've been doing, mix it till it's well combined. Now here's where it gets delicious. So you're gonna add two tablespoons of orange zest and then throw in two cups of white chocolate chips. You wanna use white chocolate chips because it makes it taste so good. Now once that's all mixed together, your dough is ready. Sometimes I like using these little cookie dough scoops. You don't have to use this, you can roll them up in balls but this makes it so they're all the same size and they're perfectly formed. Now once it's all filled, you're gonna bake this at 375 degrees for about eight to 10 minutes. So these are some of my favorite cookies. I would love to hear what your favorite cookies are for the holiday season. Now if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and push the bell so you can get all the notifications every time I post. All right, you guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you later. Bye.